Rebounding is all about desire for the basketball. Sure, being taller and bigger can help. And naturally, if you can jump higher than your opponent, chances are you'll have a better chance of getting the rebound. And I'm going to show you at the end of this video the best type of jump training that you can do to increase your vertical jump, as well as a sneaky surprising tip to improve your vertical jump by as much as 15%. I know back when I played, I had a good vertical jump, but just like you, you probably would benefit from having a few more inches on that vertical jump. The vertical jump is actually a test of an athlete's power output. That's why the vertical jump test is used at the NFL Combine as well as athlete testing facilities all over the world to test an athlete's power capabilities. So how exactly can you increase your vertical jump for rebounding? While there are thousands of videos out there on how you can increase your vertical jump, those videos are usually guys who can just jump really high trying to sell you a vertical jump training program. They want you to do countless jumps, calling them plyometrics, when by definition, a true plyometric is performed as explosively as possible with long rest periods. Most exercises deemed plyometrics nowadays actually aren't plyometric at all. So here we're going to get into the science of how you can jump higher and hopefully increase your rebounds per game average. First things first, obviously you need to practice jumping. And this follows suit with the principle of specificity of training, which states that the vast majority of training induced adaptations occur only in those muscle fibers that have been recruited during the exercise regimen, with little or no adaptive changes occurring in untrained musculature. Furthermore, the principle of specificity predicts that the closer the training routine is to the requirements of the desired outcome, the better the outcome will be. So to increase your vertical jump, naturally, you've got to practice jumping. But know this, just simply jumping is not your best route to increasing your vertical jump. In fact, a study from 2014 showed that power cleans elicited a significantly greater maximum force than jump squats and vertical jumps, while jump squats elicited a significantly greater maximum force than vertical jumps. The actual movement of the vertical jump is called triple extension. Triple extension is simultaneously extending the joints at the hip, knee, and ankle. And as you can see, the power clean movement, along with other Olympic lifts, take your strength and help you develop that strength into quick explosive power. Dr. Yuri Verkoshansky was a sports scientist from Russia and worked with many Olympians in the 60s and 70s and is the inventor of plyometrics. He had at the top of his hierarchy for generating explosiveness and improving vertical jump, the Olympic lifts with the barbell and depth jumps. Nothing else helped to improve his athlete's vertical jump more than those two things. He also always had a strength block before training these movements. So he would program a phase of training exclusively for strength before going into these movements. So before we practice Olympic movements to increase power, we have to improve our strength as strength precedes power. After all, one of my favorite quotes is, strength is the mother of all physical qualities. The two main movements that I use with my athletes to increase lower body strength are the barbell back squat and the barbell deadlift. When you look at the difference between the two exercises, you can see that the deadlift puts more emphasis on the hip extension musculature, while the squat puts more emphasis on the knee extension musculature due to the different moment arm of each exercise. A moment arm is simply the length between a joint axis and the line of force acting on the joint. The longer the moment arm is, the more load will be applied to the joint axis through leverage. Now let me clarify something. When I say squat, I mean a full range of motion squat. None of these quarter squats or half squats, none of these partial squats, full squats allowed only. Full range of motion means hamstrings are covering the calf muscle in the bottom position. You literally can't go down any farther. I hear all the time from athletes and coaches alike, but basketball players don't squat all the way down before jumping up for a rebound. I know this, but full squatting has a host of benefits, including protecting the knee from injury and improved muscle recruitment, which we'll get into in a later video. Looking at the research, a paper from September of 2019 confirmed this by stating that the results suggest that full squat training is more effective for developing the lower limb muscles. And even more telling, at improving your vertical jump, 
A 2012 paper confirmed that deep front and back squats guarantee performance enhancing transfer effects of dynamic maximal strength to dynamic speed strength capacity of hip and knee extenders, extensors compared with quarter squats. So while we have scientific proof, we also need to look at what has worked for athletes in their own training. And as arguably the greatest strength coach of all time, Charles Poliquin used to say, anecdotal evidence confirmed for him long before the research was there that full range of motion squat movements had greater transfer to athletic performance than half or quarter squats did. So build up your strength in the squat and deadlift and then transfer this strength into force production by way of Olympic lifting and jumping practice. A 2015 study showed that training specifically targeted to improve knee and ankle extension rate of torque development, so how fast they can develop torque, especially during, during the early phases of muscle contraction, may be effective for increasing maximal jump performance. So firing the calf muscles and the quad muscles concentrically to extend the hip, knee, and ankle quickly and forcefully should help to increase your vertical jump. This reinforces the fact that Olympic movements like the clean, power clean, and snatch will greatly aid your vertical jump quicker than other movements. One big reason is that you are training your connective tissue, the ligaments and tendons, to help contract the muscle faster and move your joints quicker, a key to transferring your strength into explosive vertical jump power. But make sure to train for strength first and train through a full range of motion. Now, remember that sneaky tip I talked about at the beginning of the video? You can increase your vertical jump by up to 15% by simply increasing your shoulder strength and using them properly when attempting to jump at your highest. Remember that NFL Combine video we looked at earlier? Notice their arm swing. So if you have a running start for a rebound and can generate some momentum by swinging your arms, you can increase your vertical jump by 15%. This was something the great Charles Poliquin taught at one of his lectures. It's also a great example of anecdotal evidence to help guide your training. And one last thing, regarding jump training, Dr. Yuri Verkoshansky, the inventor of plyometrics, who we talked about earlier, discovered that loading the jump before attempting to jump could increase a vertical jump more quickly and to a higher degree than simply jumping. What we know now, uh, today, this is called the depth jump. To coincide with the de depth jump, I and other colleagues have found that three jumps over hurdles in quick succession applies the principles Dr. Verkoshansky taught regarding depth jumps, but can also improve your follow-up jumping explosiveness, which comes in handy when battling for a rebound after not being able to grab it on the first jump. So what does this look like practically? During your off season, you need to train for structural balance and strength first. The first six, eight, 10, even 12 weeks, you are correcting imbalances in your body and you are improving your strength. The research shows that we only need three to four weeks before the season to really work on and improve our power cleans, our cleans and jumping to transfer that strength into explosive strength so that you hit that first game of the season at your peak condition. So off season, train for strength, get stronger through a full range of motion using barbell back squats, using deadlifts, improving your structural balance. With about a month left before the start of your season, incorporate power cleans, incorporate depth jumps, incorporate cleans, develop the speed, the contractile force involving your uh, ligaments and tendons to improve your vertical jump and hit the beginning of the season in your peak condition. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video.